review multiplication and division of simple polynomials by using the polynomial puzzler. Now you can see in front of you, you have a puzzle that's all filled in. And how this puzzle works, kind of like a magic square works where all of the rows and the columns equal the same sum, these have to equal the same product when you get down to the lower right hand corner. So what you can see here is that if I take each column, 4 times 5 is 20, negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, negative 8 times negative 15 is 120, we'll skip, fit the same pieces if I go horizontally. 4 times negative 2 gives me negative 8, 5 times negative 3 gives me negative 15, and then I w when I get down to my last row, 20 times 6 also gives me 120. Now this is a puzzle all the way filled out. We're going to be looking at puzzles today where we have to find the missing pieces. So we'll follow that same pattern and I'm going to go down the columns first and I could take 5 times 10 and that is simply 50. Negative 7 times 2 gives me negative 14. And then I can also go horizontally. 5 times negative 7 would give me negative 35. 10 times 2 gives me 20. Now if I've done everything correctly, whether I go vertically or horizontally, I should still get the same product. So negative 35 times 20 will give me a negative 700 as well as 50 times negative 14 also gives me negative 700. That verifies that all of the pieces fit accurately. All right, now when we began this puzzle, we were given these four boxes. Now we're gonna start looking at a puzzle that are missing various pieces. So when this happens, we're gonna to have to do the reverse of multiplication and figure out what the division of the numbers are. So in this first row, I'm looking for the missing piece here. So what times 3 would give me negative 15? Or what is negative 15 divided by 3? And that simply is negative 5. So from there, I can work up through the puzzle. 5 times negative 2 gives me a positive 10. I can go backwards here and work negative 240 and divide that by negative 15 and that will give me a positive 16. I can work backwards here and take negative 240 divided by 10 gives me negative 24. Now what's nice is when I get to my last piece I use that to check all my other pieces because I can go in either a vertical or horizontal direction and they should both fill in that empty space the same way. So if I take negative 24 divided by 3, that simply is negative 8, the same way that 16 divided by negative 2 gives me a negative 8. So if I wanted one last check, I could simply take and multiply each column and each row to make sure I get that same end piece. We're going to see some expressions and variables added in. So this is going to look like that first example where I'm giving you the first four in the square. So very simply, we'll take one times x plus three. Well, that is just x plus three. We'll take negative 2x plus 5 times 2. Now with that, I'm going to have to do a little distribution here. So that'll give me negative 4x plus 10. Now I'm going to go vertically. 1 times 2, negative 2x plus 5 will give me negative 2x plus 5. Again, I have another distribution. I'll take 2 times x plus 3 and that will give me 2x plus 6. Now for my last piece of this puzzle, I'm going to have to multiply either direction that I go, I'll have to multiply two binomials. So I have x plus 3 times the quantity of negative 4x plus 10. So that's going to take a quick foiling process. 
So I'll have negative 4x squared plus 10x minus 12x and plus 30. So when I collect my like terms here, my final product will be negative 4x squared minus 2x plus 30. Now what's nice is if I want to make sure that this is accurate and all of my puzzles pieces fit, I can do a quick multiplication of these two terms as well. So if I do a check here, negative 2x plus 5 times the quantity of 2x plus 6, foiling gives me negative 4x squared, my outsides give me negative 12x, my insides give me positive 10x, and my lasts give me 30. So you can see once I collect my like terms, I will have the same product. So it's nice to be able to check that last piece in both directions to make sure everything's working out. Let's look at our last example. So our last example, you can see since I'm missing these inner pieces, it's not just a multiplication problem. So I'm going to have to work backwards. Now, I can get this first row or first column completed by taking negative 5 times 3x minus 2. And again, I'll go ahead and distribute that, and that will give me a negative 15x plus 10. So I have that first row complete. But now I have to go this way and do some division. So I'll simply take 10x minus 15 and divide that by negative 5. And remember our rule to divide each term by negative 5, and that will give me a negative 2x plus 3. Okay, so now I've got these two pieces and I'm missing this third piece in here. So again, I want to divide. So I'm going to take negative 8x plus 12 and divide that by negative 2x plus 3. So negative 2x goes into negative 8x four times. I'll do a quick multiplication and then subtract and it goes exactly four times. So our second to last piece, I'm going to go horizontally. I'm going to take 4 times our 3x minus 2. So anytime I'm using these two pieces, I multiply. And that will give me 12x minus 8. And I'm down to my last piece again. So I'm going to have to either multiply these two binomials together or I'll have to multiply these two binomials. So let's take 10x minus 15, and we'll multiply that by 12x minus 8. So I'll FOIL, and I'll have 120x squared. My outsides give me negative 80x. My insides give me negative 180x. And my lasts are going to give me a positive 120. So when I collect my like terms in the middle, I will end up with 120x squared minus 260x plus 120. And again, I could do a quick check and multiply these two together too to make sure I get the same product. Now you're going to see some practice problems today. And one of the practice problems is going to give you this piece here. So I just want to remind you that you may need to factor or you may use, need to use long division to help you divide. So you can use those tools from your previous lessons to help you fill in your pieces. All right, I hope you enjoy these puzzles and have a great day.